Hello YouTube, this is Don Brandt and you're watching Doing It With Don and today we're going to build a battery isolator for your RV. I'm going to start here by drawing out a schematic of the existing charging system. Uh, I'm showing here the this is the house battery and this is the run battery that starts the RV. Both of these batteries are tied to the chassis of the RV and uh, I'm going to tie them to the earth ground here in the schematic. Here I'm going to show the component I'm going to add. I'm going to add a 40 amp diode. And this diode will allow current to flow from the house batteries to the uh, run battery or the RV battery. And this diode will block current uh, traveling from the RV run battery to the house battery. So now here I'm adding a solenoid. Now this is built into the RV and it's got a switch on the dash and when you press this switch uh, it throws electric solenoid which ties the two positives of the battery together. Now I'm adding an alternator to the schematic and uh, this alternator charges the uh, run battery uh, when the motor in the RV is running. Here I'm showing the house charger or the inverter and this plugs into shore power AC mains and it will charge the house battery and after the diode is added it will also charge the uh, the run battery as well. And finally I do have a solar cell on the top. It's not very powerful but it does keep a maintenance charge on the on both batteries. And uh, here's a diode I got from uh, Amazon. I think it was six or eight bucks. This is a 40 amp diode. Um, you know some people say 70. We'll try the 40. If the 40 burns up I'll get a different one. Um, but anyway, I was asking Dad, and Dad says, you want a diode? He goes, here you go, here's a battleship diode. I could use that. Now, that's 600 amp, and the reason I'm not going to use this is because uh, the, the current, uh, or the voltage, the leak back voltage, this is designed for something, and it will leak, it will leak voltage backwards um, to a large degree. These will all leak a little bit backwards, but I'm not worried about, you know, the 0.1 volt or the 0.2 volt that will leak back mainly I just want these house batteries to charge these run batteries but when I'm on the road I don't want the um, I don't want the uh, run battery uh, the current from the run battery to be charging the house because that could kill both so I don't know if anybody sees any flaws in my plan uh, and if you do let me know but in the meantime I'm gonna set this up and I'll show you how I'm going to install so I have this piece of uh, copper strapping uh, I'm not going to use the center hole. I'm going to go ahead and drill two new holes. And I'm going to make one hole. Um, make one hole 3 sixteenths. I have a breaker in there too. And you know, when we get over to the RV, I'll show you that. So the rest of this video is just going to be creating uh, this plate, which I'm going to attach the diode to, and installing the diode in the RV. Quick little sanding to get rid of all the sharp edges. Here I'm going to attach the diode uh, to this copper plate here. And of course I'm going to give you some close-ups of the back of my hand. Now let's move over to the RV and take a look at the batteries. Okay, so let's go on over to the RV and I'll kind of show you what's there. Um, so here, we have the house batteries. There's one, there's just six, six volts, and here's the other one over here. Um, and they're tied together, and so this is the, the 12 volt right here. Now I've already got that wired. I pulled off the clip mechanism and I kind of hardwired it and I brought over this, I've got this uh, intermediate, this is a, uh, what is this, a 40 amp breaker right here. Oh, it's blurry. There's a 40 amp breaker there. And uh, to tie the battery, I've already got the cable. This is the uh, RV run battery right here. And uh, I've already got the cable. And so what I've been doing is just uh, putting this on here uh, to charge the, from the house battery to charge the uh, run battery. And so, um, 
what I'm going to do is, here's the piece that I've just made. Sorry, I've only got two hands. This is going to go onto here, right there. And then I will take this, this connector. God, this is horrible. Take this connector and tie it to here. So I'm going to take these off and put them below. I'll put this uh, copper piece below and put the wire connectors on top. I'll go get a wrench and I'll be right back. So now I just got to do a little fiddling around, get the diode installed and uh, button it up. We'll be hitting the road here pretty soon and uh, we'll get a chance to see how well this works out. I want to thank you all for watching this video and uh, your questions and comments would be greatly appreciated. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.